Welcome back guys, I'm Cray Shotter, bringing you guys my very last prestige video on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I just woke up and I decided why not make my very last prestige video for tomorrow. So I'm really excited to make this video for you guys. I've done it a couple times already. I just kept getting interrupted by different people. People sending me invites and showing it on. I tried to make this as professional and as clean as possible for you guys. And to share everything with you guys. So I'm just going to go a little bit more in depth about all my classes. Uh, talk about a little bit about leaderboards, streaks, all those crazy things. So, And I want to thank you guys. Um, very very much for all the support I get on all my videos you guys are crazy like all my videos I break over 40 some likes now which is awesome you guys are the reason that and you guys motivate me to want to make more videos on YouTube and also guys if you if you want to do YouTube just do it have fun with it don't think of it as a job but just have fun making videos for people and also do a good job with it because you don't want to produce bad content you want to give it a hundred percent so that your viewers are happy with it too guys so to stop wasting all you guys' time, let me get straight into this um, prestige video and talk about all my crazy stuff. So um, as you guys can see, going to career right now, as you guys see, I complete this game in um, 12 days, 13 hours, and 17 minutes. I have 69,000 kills, 37,000 deaths, um, a 1,408 1, wins, a 1.23 win-loss ratio. And my score, I did break over 10 million, which is quite crazy. Quite happy with that um and the score per minute i actually did manage to get it to a 560 like in a couple of videos ago i predicted that my final score pen would be around 560 and it actually is 560 so i'm quite happy with you guys with that guys um my accuracy is the best it's ever been in any game i have a 19.82 accuracy i think in my previous games around a 17 or 18 so this is my highest and it took me um 2,569 games to complete this, which is quite awesome. Uh, for the win, this kill death ratio that did show up there, but you, as you guys can see, it's still 1.84. Couldn't get it to 1.85 in time, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. So that's pretty much it with the career. Let's get straight into the game modes. As you guys can see here, still grinding on domination, but now that I've reached Grandmaster and I don't have to worry too much about my score per minute, I can go ahead and have fun with all these other crazy game modes that I never really had the chance to. Maybe play some Search and Destroy, uh, some more Capture the Flag. Just play all these different game modes and enjoy them while Advanced Warfare is still uh, out or everybody's still playing it. Um, the weapons here, as you guys can um, see, I have over 17,000. Could have had 18,000 kills with the Battle 27. Probably is my favorite weapon of all time in Call of Duty. The Steed and the Inferno are crazy good elite weapons, and I hope they do that in the future again, bring these crazy elite weapons back. ASM1 Speakeasy is the crazy one. HBR A3, Insanity for sure. Top Gun, no second questions. I can't wait to bring you guys um, these class setups or best class setups with each of these weapons, showing you guys what is the best attachment or my attachments that I use on these weapons. So stay tuned for that, guys, in the future. AK-12. Very excited about this weapon. As you guys know, as of now, the new weapon has been announced. It is called the AK-12 Hall of Fame. T. Martin talked a little bit about it today, and Michael Country confirmed it. It's crazy because I talk so much crap about the rip, and the rip is really good now that I'm starting to get used to it again. Um, and I can't wait for that because the rip only has a plus one damage, but this new one has a plus two damage. So that's an awesome weapon, guys. Check it out when it comes out. I'm hoping to be able to get that weapon from a supply drop. And I'm hoping that if I grind out a little bit more before I leave, then I can go ahead and get this weapon. So, um, there's a little bit about the Morris here. The Morris sniper rifle, silver bullet. I still think the Doctor is better than the silver bullet. Other people might feel different, but I just feel like the Doctor doesn't give me as many hit markers as the silver bullet does. Uh, the ARX-160, hole puncher for sure. Better than the steel bite. I haven't got a chance to try the damnation yet, but I'm hoping to get that soon too. MP11 Goliath only, never had the other one, which is the squeaker, I think. Paytech loophole 100% over the exploit any day. Um, KF5 breakneck over the spanner. SN6 the third over the money. IMR Thunder Tusk. I'm I haven't really I can't really say anything for this weapon yet, just because um I haven't got the boar strike. I'm hoping to get that so I can really give it a test. Um, EM1, I'm definitely gonna go with the opponent over the polar vortex. Tac 19, I'm definitely gonna pick um, for sure. What is it? The sludge hammer over the bang stick. AE4, I haven't really got both weapons, so I can't really make a decision. Same with the bulldog. Same with the Ameli. Ohm, same thing. S12. All these other weapons, I really haven't given a chance. These bottom weapons, but I'm hoping that um, in the future I can go ahead and test out these weapons. I'm quite disappointed with this gun right here, the Lynx. I wish they bought the one from Ghost. That one was amazing. 
I wish they brought that one back just like they did with the AK-12G. Uh, I think it was a special weapon where you get the Day Zero package and they gave it to you. They should include the links in there. I think it would be pretty cool. Um, for Exo Launchers, still haven't really tried anything new with these. Uh, let me move on to um, Score Streaks, um, UAV, System Hack, Warbird, all these crazy streaks I've been still running. But I mainly run um, UAV and System Hacks. You guys will probably never see any of my class videos with other kill streaks on there. I just enjoyed running these. I don't know why. I just try my hardest to get a DNA bomb for you guys and try to do good in the gameplay with just getting gun kills. So I'm hoping that Black Ops 3 has some cooler streaks like the dogs. And I think the dogs would be really, really awesome. I can't wait for those to come back. Uh, what else? The Swarm, Orbital VSAT, Blackbird, all those crazy streaks should come back. Um, for the medals itself, nothing too special. Didn't really increase much. Brought um, the Vicious up to um, a 1 here and brought the Brutal up like a couple. And then also same thing with Unstoppable. It went up 2 or 3. Not too sure. But um, those are pretty much it, guys. Haven't got any um, Frenzy kills. Oh, not Frenzy kills. Mega kills, Ultra kills, or Kill Chains in this game. Maybe I'll play a little bit more of Ground War and try it out. Uh, I don't think there's anything really you guys want to see in here that are have to do with streaks. Um, I wonder how many have a domination. Let me see. Oh, actually, I don't even know which ones are domination. But okay. Anyways, that is it, guys, with medals. Let's go into the leaderboards now. So as you guys can see, at 1,693. In my last video, I was at 1,761. So crazy improvement. And you guys can see... Broke over a score of 10 million. I entered the 10 million squad with duct tape and blue magic. Uh, average to score is about 3,942, which is the highest on my friends list. I haven't seen one yet that is higher than me. Oh, uh, well, actually, there might be one right here. Uh, there it is, guys. I guess since he just started, that's why again. So maybe that's why his is higher than me. But overall, I think I probably would have the highest or foot would be closest to me. Actually, no, I have 3,942 and that guy had it. Let me see real quick. No, I do have the highest. Actually, I do have the highest. Never mind. I messed up with that, but it's okay. So that's it with career, guys. Um, let's go into domination. In my last video, I was around 845, and now I'm at 775. I think that I'm going to be playing more other game modes, so maybe Dom will drop eventually in the future, but who knows. I will still enjoy playing Dom. Dom is still my favorite game mode in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Actually, it is in all the other Call of Duties, beside when... Um, MW3, I think they had Demolition. I think that was my favorite at the time. But I'm hoping they also bring that game mode back because it was quite cool. So anyways, guys, that is it with um, leaderboards, um, career stats, all those crazy things. Um, I don't think there's anything else to really show you guys in here. Actually, I might play a little bit more of rank play now. Get a couple, get a squad together and play some rank play and try and make it up to Master Division if it is even possible still. Um, what else can I show you guys? So oh, I can show you guys my class. So I did actually go name all my classes. So this is the AK-12 rip right here. You get this when you reach um, Grandmaster or you can earn a supply drop. And these are attachments I run. You run extended mag just because it only has very little bullets. Uh, silencer to remain silent. Quick draw to aim down the sight faster. And this perk setup that I have right here is perks I would usually run every class. If, if it's not scavenger, it's a toughness. Those are the only ones I would ever run. And these are the streaks that I always run together to try to get those cool up gay plays for you guys. So as you guys can see here, my second class is the Paytech Loophole Grip, even though this thing is pretty much zero recoil. Um, silencer, quick draw to aim down the side. You need quick draw on all your LMGs so you can move, aim down the side a little quicker and get the enemies. I use Blind Eye on this class because um, usually when I'm trying to get DNA bomb with guns, I usually run Blind so that I can remain hidden from aerial assault drones. Bomb, not bombing runs, uh, what is that? Warbirds and Paladins, all those crazy streaks people better to get. Um, of course, this is the one of the best weapons right here, the Bow of City and Steed, one of my favorite weapons of all time in Call of Duty. Same with its um, twin or brother, the Inferno, which is also amazing. These two weapons are probably one of my most favorite. And also this crazy gun here, guys, an enlisted weapon, the AK-12 Fluted, which is really cool. I got DNA Bomb with Skull Crush the other day. Go and check it out. I'll leave it down in the description for you guys. Um, OP Shotgun right here, the Sludge Hammer. I enjoy the Sludge Hammer more than I enjoy any other shotguns in this game. I haven't really got a chance to test out the S12 Elites. I'm hoping to get those too. The Bulldog, it's okay, but I still think the Water Ghost is a lot better. The Hole Puncher here. Crazy good weapon. Still better than the steel, but I don't know. I don't care if people say I think it's the best gun in uh, its category. I better than the steel, but it shoots quicker and it gets the kills a lot faster. 
uh, magnitude, of course, ASM1, grip, and quick draw. Usually, I mess around with this class a little bit. I run grip and quick draw, or I run grip and extended mags. So, that's a little bit with this class. Um, speakeasy, of course, the beast weapon or the weapon that everybody wants in this game, which comes with the extended mag. It makes it look like the um, crazy, I think it's the M1287, something like that from Mob of the Dead and Zombies. But this one looks pretty cool. I really do enjoy this weapon. This weapon's a little crazy because sometimes it works with no recoil. And sometimes it has massive amounts of recoil. So very strange weapon here. And for this class, I did call it random because I do mess around with this class quite a bit. I do change it. Eventually in the future, I'm going ahead and buy all these extra slots so I can make classes for you guys and show you guys what I use. But as of now, these are what I have. So for this one right here, as you guys see, I'm using the HBR A3 Average Joe. Still no luck with the Insanity. I tried so hard. I was hoping to get this Prestige, but it didn't happen. I'm quite sad about it, but there's nothing I can do about it. See, that's one thing that I hope they don't do in a, the next Call of Duty or Advanced Warfare's next Call of Duty or Sledgehammer's next Call of Duty. What am I thinking? Um, is that they should make it to a point where when you reach the highest Prestige, you shouldn't be able to get repeats on anything. It should just be new things every time. I think that'd be pretty cool. Because, I mean, you put all your time and effort into the game. I think it's about time they reward you with better things. Like, all I get is helmets, clothes, gloves, pants, everything. That's all I get in supply drops now. So, bad luck there. But anyways, those are my classes, guys. Show you guys a little bit about my armory. Actually, no, I should go to this one. It's not even that good. Let me go all the way up to this beginning. Show you guys all my weapons. Got the Gigawatt, Figure Trap, Rip, a second Rip. A well horn, dynamo, pro pipe, steel bite, whole bunch of speakeasy. I think I had five of these. I sold a couple of them. Strider, uh, snapper, huckleberry. I don't really care about these exos. So, two infernos, three steeds, uh, face hammer, both the crossbow, both of the polar vortex, or not the EM ones actually. Uh, a couple of the bona fide and a parsec. Um, let me see, bear fist, a whole bunch of thunder tusk. What are the weapons? I got the Kingpin, the Bull, the Fuse, uh, both of the MDLs, both the MK14s, both of the Morris Sniper Rifles, uh, MP11, got only one of them, uh, the NA45. I want the other one, which is the Ravager. I'm trying so hard to get that one, too. So many good weapons that I still want. Um, let me see. Both the PDWs, both the um, Paytac, Exploit. I have a whole bunch of loopholes, too, so kind of crazy. Uh, almost trying to get the whole entire royalty gear, but... Still missing a couple things. The knee pads, I think the armor, all that crazy stuff. Both the RW1s, both the SAC 3s, uh, both the SN6 monies, uh, both the, uh, not SN6 money, SN6 weapons, Stinger. That's why I kept messing up. I kept saying all the names of the weapon to say both of them. Uh, both the Attack 19s, um, both of the XMGs. So those are all the weapons I've collected as I've pretty much. Did my entire journey of Reiki up from level 1 to Grandmaster. It's sad not to have some of the weapons that I want. But maybe in the future when I keep playing. I'll get those weapons eventually. Have fun with them. So that's pretty much it guys. With um, everything in general. I saved one supply drop just in case it's good luck. But let me show you guys what you get when you reach Grandmaster Prestige. So as you guys can see pretty much here. Uh, let me mess with this class a little bit here. So the helmet you do get. You get a whole bunch of gear that comes with this. So that is the... um. Grandmaster helmet right there you get uh, You get a top. Let me go find the top which is right there the top. That's the crazy top you guys get um, Let me go to um loadout and show you guys. This is the um, loadout you guys get the crazy um purplish I think it's like Royalty or something. I think it was something you do when you get to like um Grandmaster division or something like that, but it's purple set of gold on um, the gloves you get you get some gray you get some purple gloves uh, for the pants here, you get some pretty cool pants right there. Um, what else do they give you? Um, the chin guards, or not chin guard, knee guards right here. Pretty cool. Looks pretty nice. And um, for the boots here, I think they'd be cool they made the boots a little more standing out. But there they are right there. And the last thing you guys get is this awesome exosuit. Look at that. Pretty cool exosuit, actually. Too bad you can't zoom in and look at your character a little more, but whatever. So that's um, it for the clothing and all the crazy stuff you get. And you guys also do get an awesome title if I can uh, go to the right place. I'm still messing this up even though I'm Grandmaster. I've done this so many times. Okay, yes, I'm going to the right place this time. So as you guys can see, these are all the new prestiges right here. Let me go through them all. Look at this. Still one of my favorites right here. 
Nice. There it is, guys. Grandmaster Prestige title. And I want to thank you guys very much for 100 subs to try to increase my channel and try to produce more good content for you guys. And that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys a little bit about my clan. I haven't showed that ever before, but um, here it is, guys. We are maximum level, and I think we're the pain management group here. But as you see, duct tape's most active. I got I pretty much took over all these here. I still am not too sure what you do with the my bank stuff. You guys will let me know in the comments below. But this is pretty much the clan I'm in. I've been with these guys since um, MW3 till now. So probably going to stay here forever. Not going to move on to any new clans. So that's pretty much it, guys. So last thing to do is open the lucky supply drop and hope that we do get something good. Come on, guys. Wish me good luck. Come on. They should be nice. They should give you one final package at the very end when you reach Grandmaster. That's an advanced supply shop to where you get all elites. I think that'd be really cool. But anyways, let's see what we get, guys. Come on. Please elite. don't let me down. Oh, really? Come on. Elite reinforcement. Really? This game, mm, I've gotten at least a couple thousands of these. I swear. I've gotten hundreds and thousands of these. Stupid things, but... Still no luck, guys. No insanity yet. But when I do get it, I'll make sure to make a video on it, guys. Thank you guys very, very much. And now this series is over. Thank you for helping me complete my very first series on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare or on my YouTube channel in general. You guys are amazing. Thank you very, very much again. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.